All right, so today's topic is the new.target meta property. Now, the new keyword I'm sure you're all familiar with. We can call a function with the new keyword. That means that we're using this as a constructor function. Or we can call a constructor function which is actually inside of a class. If we do that, we have to absolutely use the keyword new or it's going to throw an error. Now, we've got the keyword new and you would put that inside of, in front of a function like this. So I can do that and that's absolutely fine. When I do that, we now have access to this property. So if I were to run my code now, this is what we get. We get a reference to the actual function. So what's the use of that? Well, really what we want to know is, was this called with the keyword new or without? When it's being called with the keyword new, we get a reference to the constructor function, to the function itself. If I call it without, now undefined is what I get. So it's a falsy value. This is either going to be undefined or it's a reference to here. And then inside of a class, it is a reference to the constructor function for the class. Inside of here, if we were to say console.log new.target, there we have it. Now, if I call this one, if I say new human, it's extending being, it's extending this function. So the super is going to call its prototype right here. So the prototype function being is going to be run. So we're going to see new.target come up twice. So I'll comment that one out and I will say new human. And let's clear and run this again. There we go. We see it twice. It's the same thing both times. When new human is called, we're actually calling this constructor function. Inside of here, the first thing that we're doing is calling super, which is the being function. That's what we're extending. So super is calling this. Here, new.target, it's going to be the same thing. It's not this function that it cares about. It's what was the one that started this whole process? Well, we called new on human. So that's what new.target is going to give us. It's going to give us the actual function that was called. New target is human. And then inside of here, it's still human. This one line of code triggered both functions running. Super is calling this one. And we started the whole process here. So we get the same thing both times. Now, if you try to call human without this, because we use the class syntax, is going to fail. It's going to give us an error. If I run that, there we go. Class constructor human cannot be invoked without new. All right, so it's crashing right here on my main timeline. We could try putting that inside of a try catch block. So let's do that and we'll catch our error. All right, so we should get our type error and this is going to be our message right here. Let's clear that off and run it again. There we are. There is the name. And this is the message. So we are getting that error just automatically inside of here. So we don't need to check and see if this thing is undefined or an actual function object when we do this. But inside of regular functions, yeah, it is possible that somebody at some point is going to do this. They're going to try to call being without that. And in when they do, we get this. So inside of here, we're going to test this. We're going to say, all right, if new.target, if this is a falsy value, we can say if it's undefined, or we can say just not. So second way of writing this, if not new.target. Both of these are going to work. If either one of them do return true for this condition that this value is undefined or it's falsy, then I'm going to throw an error. We're going to say throw new and let's make it a type error because that's the one that we would normally get when we call this one. So just say missing new and I will add it here as well. So same, same thing, both those lines. We're only going to get the first error when we run it. 
There we are. So undefined, type error missing new. So undefined was the value here. Because it was undefined, we threw the error down to here. We caught the error. So what is the value of this? Well, it does let us test to make sure if we're building a function and we want this function to be a factory function or we want it to be a constructor function, it's going to be a function that returns another object. That's what a constructor function is. That's what a factory function is. We're building new objects, instances of a certain kind of object. To do that, we have to make sure that it's being used properly, that somebody is actually using the keyword new. If they are using the keyword new, we're good. So we have a reference to this ob object. And if you want to test further to make sure it is, you can say console.log type of new.target. And there it is. Function. Yes, absolutely. This object is a function, which means because it's a regular function, we can also ask for its name. And we should get being. Oh, sorry, not type of. Yes, type of, of course, is going to be a string, but it's the name that we want. There we go. So type of is function, and the name of this one is being. Now, I put this down here at the bottom, an arrow function, just to point out the fact that if you weren't aware, if you are writing your functions as arrow functions, they cannot be called with new. That's just, it's a restriction that arrow functions cannot be called as constructors. So we come down here and we call xenomorph, not a problem. Let's clear that out. We run it, there is no issue. But if I try and do this, if I say new xenomorph, we're going to get an error. Xenomorph is not a constructor. This is not a constructor function and it never will be because it's an arrow function. Arrow functions cannot be used in a constructor function. Like here, I'm allowed to use the keyword this. I can refer to the instance of the thing that is being created. Same thing here, inside of being. If I said console.log this, I'm allowed to do that. I can reference the object that this function is creating. So we'll come back here and we'll say, which one was it? Being, I think. Yes, the function being. So I want to see what this is inside of here. When I run it, there we go. It is an object of type being, which is exactly what you'd expect. But inside of Xenomorph, we're never going to get this referring to the thing that's being created. I use the keyword this here. We just call Xenomorph. There we go. It's an empty object. It is not going to be this object. It's not an object of type Xenomorph. We can't do it. All right. So if you're interested a little bit more, I've got a link to a video talking about lexical scope and this. And the use of new with arrow functions kind of falls under that. I've got another video on arrow functions where I talk about that too. All right. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. A copy of this code is in the description or a link to it is in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.